So in this video, I wanted to cover both the pros and cons of MailChimp and Flowdesk. They're both email marketing software providers, but Flowdesk is one that has recently come on the scene and is kind of taking the whole industry by storm. So I wanted to talk a little bit about both and also why I have now moved all of my email marketing to Flowdesk. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the pros of MailChimp because I have been using it um, for years previously. I've used it for a lot of my website design clients and I know that it is one of the most popular email marketing platforms. So one of those reasons is that MailChimp does have a free option. If you have under 2000 subscribers, you can use their free plan. Now, obviously it comes with a lot of limitations and there are certain things you can't do, but I know that obviously when you're starting out an email newsletter, you may not be monetizing it. You may not be making money from it. So it can be important for some businesses that this is a free marketing activity. However, it does limit you in a lot of ways, but that is one of the reasons why people love MailChimp. MailChimp so much. Another reason is because they have got really advanced filtering and segmenting capabilities. So this is just the way that you organize your subscribers and MailChimp, because it's been around for so long and they're constantly developing their features, they've got a lot of these features built in. And obviously some of them aren't um, accessible until you start paying for their premium plans, but a few of them are available even on their free plan. So they just have a bit more um, advanced options there. Because MailChimp has been around for so long, they integrate with hundreds of different apps and websites across the internet. So there is loads of different things you can do with their integrations, including things like e-commerce. You can have your customers feed directly into MailChimp and things like that. There is loads you can do with it because it's been around for so long. It's so well used and reputed that it does connect with a lot of different things on the internet. Once you start going into MailChimp's paid plans, you can actually have multiple users on one account. So rather than using the same login details, you can add other admins and users to one account, which is helpful for if you've maybe got a big team or if you're using a marketing contractor to come in and do your email marketing and you don't want to share logins with them. This is a really great option. MailChimp also does have a mobile app. I personally haven't used it that much, but um, it is an option for if you are on the go and you want to see your analytics or if you want to even send out a really basic email, I believe you can do that from the mobile app. Again, I haven't used this, so I can't say too much about whether this is actually any good or not. So what are the downsides to MailChimp? The main one being, when we're comparing it to Flowdesk that is, is that their pricing is based on a tiered pricing. So it basically goes up depending on how many subscribers you have and their free plan is very, very limited. So if you do want to get more of their advanced features and you want to be able to segment your lists and send out certain emails to certain people, you really do need to have their paid plan, but it can get quite expensive. So I'm just going to go on to their pricing now and give you an example of what it is at the moment. Obviously here you've got their free plan um, and this details some of the things that's included and what's not. Um, and then we've got kind of their essentials plan, but as well as these different kind of tiered plans, you also need to bear in mind how many subscribers you have. So if we click on calculate your price under the essentials plan, you have this kind of slider that says how many subscribers do you have? And if we slide it up, you'll see the price does go up here depending on how many subscribers you have and it does end up getting quite expensive. So um, based on some of their features that you could also maybe get in Flowdesk, you might be looking at the standard or essentials plan and these can actually get really um, pricey once you get to kind of over the 2000 subscribers mark, you're looking at 50 pounds a month, which I think is or $50, sorry, a month, which I think is quite expensive when you compare it to Flowdesk's pricing, which not only is fixed, which I'll talk about in a minute, but also it is only $38 per month. And you can get 50% off that if you use my affiliate link, which I will leave below the video. Um, you can get 50% off that $38, which makes it only $19 per month. And that is applied for life. That is a lifetime discount. Um, but I'll talk about that more in a minute. 
So another drawback to MailChimp is that their templates are very basic, especially if you are just using one of their basic plans. You can use one of these very, very basic templates here to create your own, or they do have some themed ones, but generally I find them very clunky to use. Um, you also on their free and their starter plans have to have the kind of MailChimp logo appear at the bottom of the email, which isn't ideal um, if you're trying to get across your own branding. I personally also don't find MailChimp's interface particularly user friendly. I find it quite complicated. There's a lot going on on all the pages, um, specifically all to do with their analytics as well. I find um, very confusing and overwhelming. And, you know, I'm a website designer. I'm quite a technical person. Um, and I do find that a lot of my clients as well, if you're not a technical person and you just want to set an email list up and send emails to people, this is not the most user friendly. There's a lot going on and it can feel like kind of a bombardment of information when you're going on it. So one benefit if you are using Squarespace and MailChimp is that you should be able to um, integrate these really, really easily together. If you use Squarespace's sign up um, newsletter sign up form, this is set up so that you can easily, supposedly easily connect with MailChimp. Um, I have had some success doing this. I've also had a lot of issues doing this for clients. Um, sometimes the connection doesn't work very well and there are error codes and things don't work. Um, basically Squarespace recently brought in their own um, brand of email marketing software themselves so they don't actually support any of this integration connection which can mean it's quite um, dodgy and unpredictable sometimes but that's only from personal experience as I say sometimes it's tended to work and sometimes it hasn't. So let's move on to Flowdesk. First of all, a little bit about the company. They've come on scene sort of around uh, last year, so that's 2019. Um, it's certainly when I started first hearing about them. Um, so they're relatively new. They're also currently still in beta, which means that they haven't released all of their features yet, and they're still doing a lot of community listening. So everyone who signs up for it now, you're obviously on their beta rate, which means you possibly get it uh, cheaper than what their price is eventually going to be um, but it also means that you can give them lots of feedback they're being very flexible and responsive with um, people's questions and feature requests um, so it's actually quite a nice uh, place to be in is working with a beta company such as this the main benefit of Flowdesk at the moment is their fixed cost pricing. So no matter how many subscribers you have or what you're doing with your email list, how you're using it, what types of features you need, the cost is always the same. So Flowdesk's normal pricing at the moment is $38 per month, as I mentioned. And again, that is fixed no matter how many subscribers you have. But that can seem quite expensive when you're just starting out. However, I do have an affiliate link, which I will link to below. Make sure you use that to sign up because not only will that give you a 30 day free trial to see if you like it, it will also give you 50% off for life, which means that you're just gonna be paying $19 per month, which I think is amazing value for the features that you do get. So even though you may not have that many subscribers and you may be begrudgingly thinking about paying this fee, just remember that if you are looking for the same types of features and segmentation that MailChimp's paid plan uses, you're probably better off and it's still probably more affordable to go with Flowdesk. So another thing I love about Flowdesk is how intuitive and easy to use it is. It's very clean and simple and there's not loads of overwhelming information. It's all very kind of white um, and nice. I often describe it like the Squarespace of email marketing um, because it's just got that really nice intuitive feel. Everything is easy to find. Um, you kind of always know what you're looking at. And the feedback that I've got from clients is just that it's a lot easier to use. Flowdesk also comes with some pre-made email templates that you can use just like MailChimp, but I personally think that these look so much nicer. They've been properly designed by actual um, designers and you can tweak them to your heart's content. You can also start from scratch really easily and they've organized it to kind of help you choose what kind of category you're after here. And they all look amazing on mobile as well. Something I've noticed about Flowdesk as well, I guess because they're still relatively small, but their support team are really, really responsive and just really friendly and lovely as well. Now, as I was saying, sometimes I've found MailChimp's connection with Squarespace to be a little bit dodgy. 
And also in the past I've used WordPress as well and depending on the MailChimp sign up form plugin you're using, that can also sometimes be quite complicated as well. However, with Flowdesk, all the sign up forms you use to add subscribers to your email lists are created within Flowdesk itself in their forms section. You set them up in here and they basically give you a little snippet of code to just copy and paste onto your web page, which makes it super, super simple. This is the sort of thing that I go through in my online course called Email Marketing with Flowdesk. And I go in more depth about designing and creating forms, where you should put them and how to install them on your website. But it really is very, very simple. And because it's done from within Flowdesk, it means that it always integrates with every website builder, no matter what you're using. So in MailChimp, when you create a new email template, you can save it and you can do that in Flowdesk as well. So you can save templates that you've created and use them um, over and over again. However, what I really like about Flowdesk is that you can go into your account settings and actually set up your brand color palette. And here is where you can basically paste in your hex codes for your brand palette. Um, and this will appear in all your website, um, sorry, in all your email template builders and your form builders as well, meaning that you don't have to keep going back and finding your color codes for your brand and pasting them in every time. They're just there on the right hand side ready for you. One small but really nice feature about Flowdesk is that they do have the ability to embed your Instagram feed that is live into your email templates. Um, and you can set this up in your account settings. You basically just connect uh, Instagram and then you can add it as a block into any of your email templates um, like so. And I just think this is a really, really nice feature that um, I don't believe is native to MailChimp. You can't just do that natively. So I mentioned before about MailChimp's user interface being a bit complicated um, and particularly their analytics. Flowdesk's is super, super simple. You can see really clearly on each email that you send their open rates, the click rates. And if we click into more details here, you can see a few more details, but it's all really clear and easy to read. So while Flowdesk is still in beta, so they do have some um, limitations on how you can filter and um, target your audience, they do have these really easy to use segments that you can create to organize your subscribers and send out tailored emails and automations to these people. And while I'm on the topic, these segments make it super, super easy to send out multiple different lead magnets or opt-in incentives, however you want to call them, to different types of subscribers, depending on where they've come from on your website and depending on the forms that they've signed up with. It's super, super easy to do. And I explain exactly how to do this in my online course as well. One last point on the Flowdesk Pros is it is actually started and run by women. Um, it's a really random thing to say, but I think it's really cool that um, finally a tech company like this has been started and run by actual females. Um, usually you find with these, uh, spe specifically with these email marketing companies, they tend to be started and run by men. Now, finally, let's finish with the Flowdesk cons or drawbacks so that you've got a non-biased um, overview of both platforms. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, it is still in beta, so they do not have all their features released yet. And this means that they still don't have many integrations. They've recently started um, partnering with Zapier, which is um, an automation kind of software that pairs apps together and runs automations for you. This is really, really powerful. And I have included a few different tutorials about how to use Flowdesk with Zapier in my online course. However, there aren't natively some integrations that you might need like e-commerce and things like that. Um, and currently there's no A-B testing, um, which is where you send out different uh, headlines or different things to do with the email to test which works better and then refine your strategy. So those features aren't there yet, but they are regularly adding new features. As I said, they're doing a lot of community listening um, and, and I have no doubt that once they've come out of beta, they will be releasing features like this. And for now, there are some workarounds you can do. Um, and as I mentioned in my email marketing with Flowdesk online course, I go through a lot of these um, automation steps, workflows and workarounds with things like Zapier so that you can um, integrate Flowdesk with your e-commerce and sales and things like that.
So hopefully this has given you a good overview of both platforms and also if you can see why I may have chosen to move from MailChimp to Flowdesk. I am so in love with the brand and the software. I honestly can't recommend it enough, um, but hopefully these have given you some different points of view of which platform might work best for your email marketing. As I said, if you are interested in signing up to Flowdesk, remember to use my sign up link because it will give you a 30 day free trial as well as 50% off for life. So really important that you use that link. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a kickback. Um, and if you are interested in more in-depth training on how to use Flowdesk, please take a look at my email marketing with Flowdesk online course. You can find it at byrosanna.co.uk forward slash Flowdesk course.